Anything is again the better. Welcome back to Technical Analysis with Lennox. Myself, if you're new to the channel, kindly hit that subscribe button. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back, hop on board, and enjoy this video. This video is brought to you by Binance. Binance is the largest crypto exchange in the world. If you're looking to trade, invest, and transact in cryptocurrencies, make sure you do it with best. Make sure you do it with Binance. Download the Binance app today on the Google Play Store or Apple App Store to enjoy peer to peer trading. Secure transactions, seamless crypto exchange, and more. Binance, exchange the world. Now, in today's video, I want us to look at three stocks. The first one is the stock on my screen, Pan African Resources. This is a gold miner, very small gold miner. And um, when I'm looking at this chart here, this one of uh, the stocks or gold stocks that I feel like they are fairly priced as compared to other stocks. When I'm looking at this stock here, I think we can force some sort of an uptrend around this level here. Uh, we saw this stock testing this trend line for the first time at... Um, this, this is um almost one rent per share. Uh we had another one at 150, uh 168, and we currently have a double bottom on this stock at um this price of uh, 285. And when I'm looking at this chart here, of course I can spot this double bottom here, but uh the stock is also trading at a very nice support here. And uh if uh, we get a nice rejection above this uh, level here, I think uh, it will take the stock back to uh foreign per share but uh, with that being said i just want you to be mindful of this possibility here so i'd say if we break below this support here we're looking to test uh, 267 and if we break below this 267 we're looking at uh, 187 and this would be another entry point in my opinion the first one is at current price and this is um 310 and what i'm looking at and this is uh, my analysis on pan african resources that stock is looking fairly bullish but bear in mind that there's this possible scenario worst case scenario i think we're looking at uh, around 45 percent from current price there's a drawdown from current price and that'll be my analysis for pan african resources or resource next stock that i want to look at is british american tobacco last time we spoke about this stock here i it's not the stock i want on the one listed on the jse so last time we spoke about this stock i showed you guys this uptrend here that's developing on the stock this is very much um relevant but uh we saw the stock testing this downtrend here and it currently rejected and uh I'm sure some people came in around this level here. Of course, um, this is a very nice support. This is a nice trend support here. And we might see the stock uh, trading further up to about, uh, I'd say, 650 rents per share. And if we are lucky enough, we might see the stock uh, going back to 700. But bear in mind that this stock is still in this uptrend here. So it might still test uh, these uh, levels of 590. So this would be drawdown of um approximately five percent from current price and like i said last time i like the stock i just don't like the product because i don't use it but um the stock is looking very okay and i i i maintain my bullish sentiment on the stock but bearing in mind that we might see a five percent to five to six percent drawdown on the stock but the stock is looking very well and um, uh, at some point in future i think we we'll likely see the stock going back to 700 grants per share and that'll be my analysis on british american tobacco uh last stock that i want to see look at is uh, multi-choice uh we saw the stock um uh losing over 13 12 to 13 percent on one trading session i think this happened on tuesday and the stock is down to 83 rents per share and uh, last time i spoke about a uh, multi-choice group i think the stock was trading around uh this level of 120 and i was telling you guys that next uh, stop to look at is 103 but my buy zone it ranges from 90 going into um 77 rents per share and uh, that's what we basically saw i think at the time when we did the analysis at 120 
assets. There's this possibility, this drawback of approximately 38% on the stock. And that's basically what we saw this week. The stock really reached this uh, level here. At, at the time when we did the analysis, this uh, looked a bit unreal but uh it eventually happened and the stock is trading next to this support here so the most important level to watch is still this level here this support zone here at um so let's just mark this support zone let's round it off to 80 rands per share this is still a zone to watch here so if we get uh price rejection here might take the stock back to approximately 103 again but um if we break below this level here i think i think it might open room for for chaos and uh, i'll be watching this stock very closely i'm personally not interested in in the company per se but uh, from the technical analysis point of view uh this is what i'm seeing here uh the key level on the stock is around this level here if we get a nice rejection we might see the stock going back to um one or three but if that does not happen let me just uh try to estimate where the stock might go let's see let's see um so if we break below this support here the stock might go to 34 rands per share and this would be an all-time low that's that's very much possible and uh it will be based on what what happens around this uh support of 80 rands per share and that'll be my analysis on um uh, multi choice i think uh this is neither bullish or bearish i would say uh keep it on that watch list of yours if you're interested in the company and uh, let's watch what happens around this level here of um 80 rents per share and that'll be my analysis for today if you haven't subscribed to the channel i don't know what you're waiting for but let's meet again next week same place same time it's on mm -hmm.